Hello and welcome to this new video in the Excel playlist. In this video we will learn two new functions in the date series called as network days and network days.intl. Let's get started. First we will start with network days. If you understand that the next one is very simple just the same just with fractional changes. So as the name suggests network days is nothing but it will give you the difference between two dates. But how is it different? as compared to just subtracting two dates. So let me give you an example. Consider you have any start date. Not necessarily it should be the start date of the month. So I will take purposely any date in between of the month. So this is 5th of November. Again my system format is MDY. And let me enter any other date. So current date. If I want to calculate the difference between both those, uh, these two dates. So what I will do is always greater date minus smaller date which is nothing but 22 as you can see 22 days if you add in this date conversely if I do plus 22 I will get 27 fine but now I want to know what were the number of days between these two days dates excluding the weekends which is nothing but Saturday and Sunday so this is very interesting use case and based on this you could take many decisions we will come to that later on so firstly let us see how to calculate that now as you type netw you will get two things network days and network days dot intl let us first start with network days so start date end date and then you have holidays which is optional as you can see it is in square bracket so pass the start date comma end date remember you can pass the date by date function so i will not use the last argument for now and hit enter so the number of days the actual number of days which are work days excluding the Saturdays and Sundays is nothing but 15. In order to verify this let us pull up the calendar. So here we are. So we are on the 5th. Now 5th will not be considered because it was a Saturday. Then Sunday is not considered. So if we go this is the first week 6, 7 to 11, 14 to 18, 10 days and then 21 to 25, 15 days. Then again 27 is nothing but Sunday so all Saturdays and Sundays will be excluded and you will get nothing but 15 this is how you will get the network days and then based on this you could take many decisions especially handling your workloads or uh, defining the targets whether or not it could be achieved or not I'll give you a different example on that way as well but just a heads up on this now consider you have some holidays in between so one of the holidays I can choose as let's say 26th and let me take another holiday which was let's say 23 so these were two holidays so obviously this would impact your networking days so you want to calculate the network day working days excluding these two holidays let us see the impact of them so this is my start date comma this is my end date comma and you write the dates in a range so that you can select them together and hit enter the answer that you get is 14 now you must know how the calculation of the holidays takes place without holidays I was getting 15 days but with two holidays I am getting 14 ideally we should have got 13 because there are two holidays let's analyze the dates are 23rd and 26th so I'll go back to the calendar 23rd was a weekday so this will be definitely considered as a holiday and one working day will be reduced however 26th is a Saturday this is already a holiday which is being deducted in the calculation hence 26th will not be further considered for deduction so the only effective deduction would be for 23rd which is a weekday so this is why you are getting 14 and not 13 one thing is Network days assumes that your work days or weekends are compulsorily on Saturday and Sunday both. But then later on Microsoft or the Excel development team would have realized that not necessarily across the world we have that kind of culture wherein we had weekend offs. Some, some people have maybe two days off but they don't have on the same days or uh, on Saturday Sunday maybe different days. Some people might have just one day off. So for that they came up with another function preferably mostly I think in 2010 version of Excel if I am not wrong wherein 
they introduced another parameter in between called as weekend. So how does this work? By default if you pass the start date and end date this will work just like network days. Then next the good thing about this is once you pass the start date and end date as soon as you do comma you get a drop down of list suggesting that what are your weekends. So by default it is Saturday Sunday whether you give it or not this is the first one but let us say your offs are on some other day like let's like say Thursday and Friday then Saturday and Sunday will be considered as weekdays and Thursday will be and Friday will be weekends for you or rather let's say I mean the week offs for you so you see the difference between this and this now so now if you pull up the calendar so fifth will be working so just remove the Thursdays and Fridays so there will be six Thursdays and Fridays so rather let's see yeah one two three four five six and if you subtract six from this from these two dates let me just check once Thursday and Friday yes so let's count them we but we have to also count this date now so the difference was 22 between both of them minus 6 becomes 16 and plus 1 will become 17 so let me show you 1 5th 2 3 4 5 then I skip the next 2 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so this is how you will get plus additionally what you can do is network days start date end date this is just a number no need to buy heart you just delete and you will get the list from which you can come to know comma your holidays and then enter so again now the weekend is since Thursday and Friday if the date is Thursday and Friday only then it will be considered as a overlapping and no more deduction but if these two dates if you see 23rd and 26 these are not on your Thursdays and Fridays hence two more extra days are deducted that's why the net day has come down to 15 so this is how network and network days dot intl functions are useful let me give you another use case of this so consider you have a start date and end date this example is very useful I used to teach this to my students as well so I just made it up so consider on the entire year basis you want to do some forecasting and you want to plan some targets or budgets or anything and then it all depends on how many days you have because each month doesn't have the same number of days firstly calendar days and also the number of weekends differ hence the networking days also will differ so now you want to know how many networking days are there for every single month of the year plus what you want is on basis of that you can do some forecasting or budgeting how so let us first derive the start date of the current year so now I want to get the start date of the current year but I'm saying current year not this year <coughs> so I need a function which will give me the current date dynamically which is nothing but today I'm writing it purposely in a different cell so that the function won't appear lengthy to you now in order to create the dynamic start date of the year I'll say date year of this it is given that the month and the day will be fixed which is Jan 1st but the year will keep changing so this is how you will get the start date of the current year optionally if you feel it fine you can just say today directly now how do I get the end date of this particular month simple we have seen EO month sorry EO month that's it or you could do E date and minus one also that's fine just to show you this is how you can do it E date also so add one month and then subtract one day from it fine now in order to get the start date of the next month just say diagonally you refer the end date plus one and just drag this formula down which is of EO month since it is relative reference <coughs> sorry the dates will toggle automatically and just hold this select this and pull this down until the bottom very easier way to get the start date and month date of the uh, end date of the current year this is how uh, this comes EO month and E date uh, comes into practical use 
now it's very simple now you want your holidays also to be listed so let us take some holidays for example we have holidays in India in this way okay this is one thing that you'll have to change because these holidays will keep on changing depending on the calendar some fixed holidays like public holidays are static so let me take those so for example this one and then we have <coughs> our Independence Day August 15th then we can take uh, October 2nd I'll take another like let's say this way and then December 25th for Christmas fine now here we go network days either INTL or network days that's your choice this is the start date comma this is the end date comma these are my holidays but since we are going to drag down we'll freeze the holidays because the holidays will be frozen and I don't want to just refer on a month basis so if the holidays fall between the start date and end date only those will be considered rest will be ignored now what you are getting is nothing but date so let us convert this into generic which is number that's it and at the bottom let us do alt equal to so these are the total number of working days out of 365 or 366 365 in 2022 so you don't have to change this so now what you get is the working days in each particular year and based on this you could define your targets so for example let's say you wanted to process some uh, sales whether you want to hit 4000 clients or maybe you want to build 4000 invoices that could be anything this is your yearly target or uh, this is your monthly target let's say monthly target and <coughs> you need to know how much how much of them can you achieve on a daily basis so simply you will refer this freeze divide this by this and then drag it down we could just round it up so this is how you could uh, just forecast a very simple forecasting example based on your target for each month you can forecast okay for each month also you can have various targets which you can set over here and divide but that's just up to you I just wanted to give you an example how these ex uh, functions network days INTL e date EO month can be used practically so that's it in this video hope you liked it thanks for watching and stay tuned